Shades, good evening, Smorganites, and welcome back. Okay, things seem to be working. For those tuning in for the first time, I am Vitamin Smore, your host. Tonight we are getting back into Trials from Zero. We're on Chapter 3. Yesterday we finished off Chapter 2, which was amazing. Loved everything about it. Especially when we found out who Yin was. Did not see that coming. Good plot twist. Good plot twist. All right, so we're going to jump into it. We are on chapter three and all that fun stuff. So let's get into it. Crossbell Anniversary uh, Festival, opening day. Ooh. <laughs> I got off work around noon. Got home. I had to call um uh cyber power is a miscommunication, so hopefully I can get my brother's laptop processed. Got a nice laptop. Um pretty cheap. I mean cheap enough. That and I got on My hair does not look like a chocobo butt. Hi DJ. Don't look at spoilers. Spoilers, all your clips are freaking spoilers. It's no. How you doing, DJ? A whopper. It's a whopper. I was catching whoppers earlier. Um, I was also filling with some trade things. Uh. If I actually was able to make, if I had the money in there, I would have made myself eighty, like eight thousand dollars. But it's just a demo, <laughs> so I didn't make squat. Ah, uh, well, if I only had that money. All right, so let's get into the game. How's your night going, DJ? Still storming there? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, bear with me. I gotta. Oh, I can't hear it. Kindai Kato, you are an ami Momarenaga. Imaya Crossbell, Tairiku, you soon know Boek Tos, so stay. King you sent a to hot taste to Tsarimas. Don't well for no guy that almost got killed. Uh, yeah, rain and stormy. Getting some of that rain from the tropical storm Fred already. I had no idea there was a tropical storm. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to play some VR today. I completely get, forgot. I've been playing Final Fantasy 3, the Pixel Remaster, enjoying it. I forgot to go on some VR. I wanted to hook up some Tai Chi stuff. Uh, it's a Tai Chi thing for the VR I want to try. Maybe I'll see if I can find a yoga one. その一方で、急速な都市開発や人口増加に起因する問題も出始めており、新たな… Oh, so how long are you supposed to have the storms? Uh, it made landfall on Panhandle of Florida. We can get up to four inches of rain. That must have been like a day or so ago. Yeah, I had no idea that was one. Weather hasn't been all over the news lately. This <laughs> not. Imawatoda。70年という長く大きな節目を祝い、喜びを分かち合うことにしましょう。わずか5日間ではありますが、今年は例年をはるかに超える観光客が訪れる。かつてない賑わいを見せております。No, oh, made landfall today. Wow, that's a big storm if we are to get in the outskirts of that. Get flood watch out till Wednesday. Your state's away and it's already hitting you? Kano, Arukan Serino Sinsaku. At least we had a day. 
多くの催しやイベントも企画されており必ずや充実した5日間となるでしょう大いなるエイドスの皆のもと This would be a good ringtone to listen to when you wake up. In Georgia now, still. <clears throat> I might have to find this song. I keep forgetting to turn it on it, or it would show the song title up top, but. Look at all those balloons! It's gonna kill the atmosphere! <laughs> Popcorn, get your popcorn. I like his hat. What? Gotta turn that off. I have my miner going. This kind of reminds me of a scene from、uh, Wild Arms 1. They're starting to have the festival and they have all the weapons there and they're showing them off. Randy! Did he just S craft that? He hit 16. Actually, it looked like he's hitting about 2 and 5. Yo! And Johan. They're playing a game of Tetris? That's hilarious. Did she just hack him? That's cheap. Mom party? Really? Celebrating. I take it, do I get to play that at some point? Oh, I would so love just to watch that again. I do? Cool. So no one clipped it. I asked him to, and I forgot to do it. The other day I went to the casino. <sighs> Random. <sighs> and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to play 16 and around 16. 16 to dead on that first time. Sep came in and goes, That's so rigged. <laughs> No one clipped it. I gotta go back and highlight it. Korea, Tashkani, Nekio taking a fanga, you a kidayo. So, my brother bought a laptop. I had it shipped here, but I messed up and put the shipping and the mailing and the billing address at the same when he used his credit card.、Um, but he got one for like $1,200. It comes with a $3050. Got a $165 refresh rate. I mean, it's a laptop, so it can only do so much. But I think he'll like it. And eventually, he wants to get a Quest 2 so he can link in and play VR games. <laughs> so, ne. Iria was so good, but Lisa was so good. Yeah, but it will take a while because processing takes six to eight weeks. Hmm. I know Iria got a lot of money. 
<笑>そうだねプレ公演の時よりもさらに息がぴったり合ってるみたいだなそういえば例の事件はあなたたちが解決したのよねこの前イリアに連絡した時にあなたたちのことをすごく褒めていたわいずれ事件を題材にした舞台を企画して特別出演してもらいたいとかああい,いやさすがにそれは冗談なんじゃ No, I totally think she'll do it. Oh, I don't know. 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 ダンディ君には悪いことをしてしまったかしらチケットがもう一枚あったら一緒に誘うところだったんだけどなあ、インスハビパーアットカシノおぉ、that popped I was、uh, overindulging myself in video games today that I was playing Final Fantasy 3 for hours I wanna beat it and that way I have all the new pixel remasters done to the next four come out <laughs> 気を使う必要ないって俺たちアルカーシェルは別にチケットをもらっているしさそれに今頃ランディセシルネーの後輩の人たちと楽しく遊んでるんじゃないか<笑>そうねあの子たちも普段忙しいからゆっくり息抜きしてほしいかなそういえばロイドたちも休暇は今日までなのよね I get one day off. So, how's New Game Plus going for you, DJ? Ah, Kiren Sai Chua, Kesas no Shikoto mo Soto Fuerishne. Konomai no Jiken no Go Hobi, Shonichake, Kyuka o Moraitanda. Good. How far in are you? What's <laughs> Karesama? So, so, Kyoa, Uchide Yushako Tabete, the Kuren de Sho? Oka Santa Chita no Shimi ni Stata. ごちそうになるよでも夕食までまだ時間がありそうだなえっと祭りの様子を見物しに行こうかあごめんね私これからちょっと待ち合わせをしちゃっててえあ待ち合わせってまさかひょっとしてこれからイリアのメゾンで会う約束をしているんだけどななんだハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハい,いや遠慮しとくよ女性ばっかりの集まりに野郎が邪魔するのもなんだしさというかなんとなくイリアさんにいじられそうな気がするんだよな<笑>遠慮することないのにまあいいわ今日は付き合ってくれてありがとう私も夕食には戻るつもりだからロイドもそれまでにはうちに来てね Starting to rain again. Coming down pretty hard, too. Timing is a lot of fun. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. I don't know these two. Oh, it's Fran. Is that her sister, the one that works in the、um, shop? No, it's Noel. I totally recognize them. Who are you? Yeah, that's what I said. I was like, I barely recognize them. Well, it's a little bit of a problem. 
ロイドさんは普段とあんまり変わりませんねなあ普段から行動しやすい服を着ちゃってるからね二人は姉妹でデートかいだったら妹なんかとじゃなくって彼氏と回りたいんですけど That's harsh. そんなの作る暇もないしなお姉ちゃんひどーい、yeah, see, I think they gotta translate that a little better But like how rude not question like 忙しくてたまにしか会えないから今日くらいは付き合ってくれるって言ったのにはいはい分かってるってそういえばロイドさんはここで何を誰かと待ち合わせなんですかあいや、うん、さっきまで連れがいたんだけどこの後予定が入ってたらしくてさあてが外れてどうしようかって思っていたところなんだお姉ちゃんこれってうんひょっとして。振られちゃったのかも<笑>さっき声をかけた時にちょっと表情が曇ってたしややっぱりえっとえ何か勘違いされてるような<笑> so no、does, あのロイドさんお暇だったら私たちに付き合っていただけませんか実は港湾区の公園でミニライブがあるらしいんです私たちこれからそちらに行くつもりなんですけどああそうなのか面白そうだけどせっかく姉妹水入らずのところ邪魔じゃないかないえいえロイドさんならオッケーですよ他の男の人だったら全力で阻止してますけどあのね<laughs> まあいいやそういうわけでそれでいいきあってくださいよ。ちょちょっと二人とも誘ってくれるのはありがたいんだけどさすがにこれはちょっとまあまあ遠慮なさらずそうそう両手に放ってやつですよそれじゃあレッツゴーでうん、なんか誤解されてるみたいだけど。で、same with it, Lloyd. はい、eyes are dry. That's the anniversary festival on opening day. What? What? Why? I blink of an eye. That blink. That night, Lloyd dined in the new. What was it? Nuo's residence? Yeah, the newest, newest, newest. They told stories of Guy and the、uh, reminisced the night away. Chasing the night away. And then, then the morning came. Crossbutt anniversary. So, t o my dear. Kuka was a little bit of 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 a little bit たっぷり働いてもらうつもりだからよろしく頼んだぜわかりましたしかし5日あるうちの初日だけしか休暇がないとは正直ケチすぎるんじゃないですか<笑>まあそれだけ警察全体が忙しいということなんでしょうし警備や巡回の仕事は初日が一番忙しかったんじゃないかしらまそういうことだ一応市長暗殺を未然に防いだご褒美ってわけだな記念祭中については雑用を回すつもりはないらしいぜその分支援要請の数もかなり来ていそうですけどね観光客も普段の数倍はいそうですし<笑>せっかく名前を売って遊撃士の人気の足元くらいには届くようになってきたんだここらが頑張りどころじゃねえかまあそれは確かになんかうまい具合に騙されてる気がするんだが
<笑>本当なら看護師の子たちとミシュラムあたりに遊びに行きたいんだけどよミシュラムというと港湾区からの遊覧船で行けるテーマパークですねミッシーがマスコットとしてもいるそうですけどミッシーってあああの猫のマスコットかあのキャラは前から知ってるけどテーマパークってのは3年前にはなかったはずだよなミシュラムそのものは昔から保養地として知られていたけどそこにテーマパークができたのは2年くらい前だったかしらそれ以来すごい人気らしいわねああ前に一度言ったけどありゃ大したもんだったぜま普段から人気のスポットだから記念祭中はごった返してそうだけどななるほどちょっと興味深いです<笑>あ課長ああとにかく最終日までの4日間は支援要請だけに専念していいぞま何をどれだけやるかはいつも通りお前らに任せておく毎日要請も更新されるだろうからせいぜい楽しみにしとくんだな Alright, so we got last support quest, huh? I like the side quest. Chapter 3 Crossbell Anniversary Festival. さてと、とりあえず、端末で支援要請を確認するか。場合によったら、クロスベル市の外にも足を運ぶ必要がありそうだな。ええ、そうね。アルモリカ村なんかは、最近、観光で足を伸ばす人も多いみたいだし、鉄道と飛行船以外にも、陸路で来る観光客もいそうね。ってことは、東西の門も、普段より通行量は多いってこと。ノエルさんたちも記念祭中は大変そうですね遊撃士の人たちは言うまでもないでしょうけどああ俺たちも負けてられないなでもあまり根を詰めるとこちらの体力も持たないと思う依頼の緊急度を確かめながら進めた方がいいんじゃないかしらそれもそうかまあぼちぼちやっていこうぜ This is follow a list. Quest. Missing Doctor is the urgent one. Here from B Sector Monster Extermination. Alright, so Illegal Parking Crackdown is our first quest. What's up, gameplay? How are you doing tonight, buddy? Let's see, we gotta go to the,、uh, the cop building, administrative, and talk to the receptionist, Becky. I appreciate the lurk as always, man. Gotta make sure I stop by and give you a lurk, too. <laughs> um, this one. Go with 40% HP plus parts. Give me sense. Appreciate it, buddy. Because I won't. I don't know why, but something tells me to get one. Alright, so we need to go. Wait, go over here. Thanks, sir. Shops. They get the same thing. Okay. So we need to go in here.、We、need to go talk to the receptionist. Hey, it's the guys from SSS. Ah,、uh, I figured I'd get busier than past years, but this is too much. 
Yeah, we know how you feel. Uh, us police officers have been our pleads fool during the festival period. By the way, we received a support request from the Mon Mon Metropolitan Damn. Metropolitan Division. Are the ones in charge of the request uh, in right now? <clears throat> oh, you mean the request regarding ticketing the legal park cars? They're usually out and about, so it may take a while for to get a hold of them. What do you say, guys? Wait here until the, uh, we hear about the request? I'm fine with it. Yeah, let's knock this one out. Looks like we're in agreement then. Understood. I'll call them in immediately. Feel free to wait in the conference room until they arrive. We've been waiting here an awfully long time. That must be pretty busy. Yeah, not much we can do about it. Festival must be real overwhelming. Hey, sorry about that. We're dealing with something urgent. Sorry for making you get what Ugh, you guys wait. Don't worry about it. Thanks. I'm the Metro Metropolitan Division's Chief Yolich. 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 Yolo. And I'm Officer Kate. That's a simple name. Of the same destination. Thanks for lending us a hand, Special Support Section. Looks like we'll have to give a formal introduction this time around. I'm Lloyd Bonnings of the Su Special Support Section, and these three are my colleagues. We know you're swamped with work, but would you mind exp explaining the details of the request? Wow. No problem. Allow me to explain. Let me explain. <laughs> but first, I think that's enough of the, with the formalities. I don't mind if we speak more casually now. Sorry, Chief likes to take things easy. Anyway, I think this was written in the support request. I'd like you to ticket any illegal parked vehicles on the outskirts of town. This goes without saying, but we're seriously lacking the manpower to handle this right now. All you have to do is write down the car's license plate number, attach a warning sticker, and find them if they parked illegally. Is that really all you like us to do? You don't need us to tow them? Don't worry about it. Giving them a fine is more than adequate. A lot of people drove in from the Empire and the Republic, so they don't know the parking rules. Towing would be too much. More importantly, some of the cars you'll be checking out already have parking permits. Parking permits? <clears throat> yeah, not every car is necessarily parked there illegally. Some of them obtain permits to park there beforehand, so you'll need to exercise caution. Cool. We'll keep our eyes peeled for which ones already bought permits. Okay, I think I understand the procedure. And I recall a few cars being parked at the eastern and western exits of town. Be smart enough for us to check both exits. Indeed. Indeed. Okay, let me give you this list of permit holders. Approved vehicle list. And while you're at it, take this pack of warning stickers. We like to call these our illegal parking tools. Okay, got it. We yawned all day until I start playing this game. Please report to Rebecca once you've completed our request. Kate and I will be going to hit the city, so we'll be all gone all day. Understood. We'll give a report to Rebecca. What say you we scoot on over to the city limits? That sounds good to me. Alright, so. Uh, we accepted it to prove fearful. Now go out to the east exit and examine the back of each, uh, each vehicle. Examine the front of the pink car. I am so glad I have a guide. East exit. Comes the east exit. Right here. It's Ford Company Luxury Car. The license plate number is TL1101. 
Uh, let's see, now go out, exit, and examine the back of each vehicle. Then examine the front of the car. Uh, this is a Vern Company private car. The license plate number is CW642. This is a Vern Company Warble truck. <clears throat> license plate ES4521. Vern Company luxury car. The license plate is VE4310. Uh, we're on coming with Orbit Truck. License plate number, yada, yada, yada. So, I guess... Two more crossbow times. Ah, okay. There's front... The pink car and place a sticker on it. One DP. Head back to Crossbell and then go to the exit, sit west exit, and examine the back of each vehicle. Uh, Ryan Ford private car. Pirate car, another truck, Volkswagen. <laughs> it's a Volkswagen. All right, I think we checked all the cars. Let's finish placing the remaining stickers so we can give our reports. That was like a plan. I don't think they were in a hurry, so maybe a good idea to check all the cars one more time before we return. However, we are unable to remove any incorrectly placed stickers. Well, I don't think we'll have anything to worry about. All right. I'm in each vehicle, then examine the front of the flashy purple car. Place a sticker. Oh, my long stream. Say hi to Mama Vitz, everyone. Uh, today is National Transfer of Money into Your Mom's Account Day. <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> Say hi, Mom. <laughs> uh, next, examine the license plate on the truck again. Um, there, go back. Hold on a second. I feel like I've seen this license plate number before. Right, so head back to Crossbow and go out the west exit. And I'm going to get it purple. From there, go back to Crossbow and then out the east. Then the license plate on the car behind the pink one. I like that. Especially for this. And not story related, but I'm perfectly happy with the side quest one. What? Didn't we see this plate number over on the west exit too? Actually, I think you're right. I don't think it was their type of car though. <clears throat> it is against state regulations for multiple people to share identical license plate numbers. Yeah, Tio Tot's right. You gotta have a unique number if you're gonna break the law. Probably a good idea to jot this plate down, yeah? Absolutely. We better report this to the Metropolitan Metropolitan Division later. I like the I like the guides that I only need for the side quest. It shows me the hidden stuff too. Um, I guess an event about duplicate plates. Finally, return to the uh, thing and return to Rebecca. Okay. Hey, look who it is! Hey guys! How's your day been? I hate his art style. Festival leaves us in a little room to breathe, but it has been it hasn't been that bad. Are you two working today as well? Yeah, but we're just catching our breath. Holy moly. 
though, I wasn't expecting the anniversary festival to be this huge. This whole event might actually be more bombastic. Mr. Bombastic. Oh, oh. Then the Queen's birthday celebration. The Queen's birthday celebration? <clears throat> no, she's referring to Queen Alicia II. We celebrate her birthday every year by holding a festival. It's one of the largest of annual events in Liberal. Oh, that's right. I got you guys are a uh, Liberalarian. I've actually been uh, to it before, believe it or not. The elegance and the flashiness of the festival was truly befitting of a monarch. It was an unforgiv unforgettable experience. Glad to hear you enjoyed yourself. It's not just flashy, though. They even hold a martial arts tournament at the arena. Tournament, eh? Sounds like it's right up my alley. Oh yeah, I just remembered. <clears throat> Congrats, guys. You should have been really proud of yourselves. But proud? Are you talking about the assassination attempt? It was more of a mountain of coincidences piling on top of each other. I'm afraid to think what would have happened if we weren't as lucky. I hope we can get hung up on that. Besides, if you hadn't thwarted the, ass uh, uh, the assailant, I doubt we would be here enjoying the festival like we are. Yeah, that's right. If you think about it, everyone here owes you a big time. <laughs> Thanks, you too. I'm not used to this much praise. I don't look embarrassed, do I? Red as an apple, my friend. Uh, Crossbow International Trade City, so there's a lot of tourists from abroad. Um, God, I cannot stand his hair. Like, his entire hair alone is just wrong. His face is wrong. Outfit sucks. How dare you? Oh. Uh, we avoid trouble before it happens. Looks like the festival is full swing. Join forces and kick butt. All right. Uh, hey everyone. How's the request ticket to those illegally parked cars going? Please notify me once you're ready to hand over your report. I'll contact the uh, division. We're all ready to give our report. Could you contact them, please? <clears throat> Understood. I'll take care of it now. I apologize for the inconvenience, but do you mind waiting again until they're here? Not at all. I understand. You're busy. <clears throat> That's it for the report. Here's a list of license plates for so any illegal parked cars. Hmm. Fantastic job, everyone. You even managed to avoid giving out any heiress fines. Yes. We tried our hardest to avoid making any mistakes. Many of the owners were from either the Republic or the Empire. We were nervous about making errors. Sorry for putting you guys in that position. I wouldn't have minded you guys doing a, a rush job. That's usually how it goes for us. <laughs> what are you talking about, Chief? We take our job very seriously. Oops, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, it looks like we managed to write one off task. One off one task from our to-do list. Thanks, guys. We should give us a bit more breathing room. Right. Allow me to give you my thanks. You can definitely count on the SSS to take care of your work, eh? <laughs> Can't even escape the handyman treatment at headquarters, can we? Hey, Lloyd. Shouldn't we tell them about the inconsistency? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I was wondering. Hey, actually. Hmm, what's wrong? We noticed something strange with license plates. There were two cars that shared the same license plate number across both exits. I believe that license plate number is CL1101. <clears throat> wait, wait, seriously? Could one of these plates be a forgery? I would think so. You need to pay a fee to obtain a parking permit. Not to mention you have to pay a daily fee to park you there. You'll have to work o over a hefty amount of merit to park there a whole festival. Someone probably went to, wanted to skip out on springing for two separate permits. Wow, what a cheap ass. Could have been worse, though. At least he ain't out there committing a serious crime. Agreed. Hmm, Kate, do me a favor and check this out for me. This, yes, uh... <clears throat> Anyways, looks like our job here is done. We'll be taking our leave now. If you ever need assistance again, the SSS will gladly tackle any case for you. Thanks for counting on you. Festival has been dumping loads of work on us. And let's keep up with the hustle. Alright, what next? 
an important item retrieval. Take the bus to the uh, from the west exit to Belgrade Gate. Hit the cars now. You can hit that legally parked one there. I like that it honks when it comes in. All right, so <clears throat> um, main entrance for an event, and go to the second floor. Another illegally parked car. What in the world is this? It's a tank. Uh, was this here the other day? Let's take a little peek, shall we? <clears throat> Randy, is something wrong? This thing is uh, one of the CGF's armored cars. Why is it here? On top of that, he went so far as to conceal it with a, this tarp? He sure did a shabby job. A tarp like that makes it clear as day that it's hiding something fishy. Now that we're in Belgard Kate, maybe we should take care of that support request. Maybe his armor car was something to do with it? I believe that the request was to search for a lost item. As And as for the clients, it was warrant officer Mariel. Hmm. Randy. Have you heard of her? Oh, yeah. I worked alongside Mariel back when I was uh, in the CGF. Back then, she was just still just a sergeant major. But she moved up in a pretty, uh, the ranks pretty quickly. She may be busy with work, but she should try asking her about the request. Perhaps you could casually bring up the armored car if you were so interested in it. Good idea. All right, it says, now go to the second floor and talk to Mariel. Mariel. Another. It's all reversed. Want Officer Mariel. Oh, drat. Just where did I run, it run off to? I don't find it soon. Go, Mariel. How's my favorite CGF soldier doing? Randy? W wait, Randy? What are you doing here? It just... Who are these three? Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm Lloyd Bunnings of the Crossbow Police Department Special Support Section. We came by to ask about the support request you submitted to us. Sorry. Oh? Now that I think about it, Randy did mention something about a special support section. The fact that I sent that request to you, it was all completely slipped my mind. <laughs> I'm sure you have your work cut out for you here, right? <laughs> Classic Mario. Puts on the serious face, but she's really not all there. <clears throat> Excuse me? Someone like you has no right to say that to me. Can we calm down, everyone? I know it's sudden, but uh, we, do you mind explaining the, the request to us? The CGF wouldn't be coming to us for help unless we really need it. Hey, hey guys. So I've been curious to learn the details. <clears throat> ahem. Ahem. Uh, yes, that's correct. I'm sorry we're a little disorganized right now. So you see, we've incidentally misplaced something incredibly important to the gates. Uh, normally, finding it would be our top priority, but as you can see, we're running short on manpower during the anniversary festival. That's why we decided to ask for some assistance in the matter. I think I understand the situation. So what exactly are we looking for? It's the key to the armored car that your guardian force has just developed. It's one of the newer models. <laughs> A newer model? 
I had only heard rumors about it. So it's has finally been deployed. I fail to understand how you could have lost something so valuable. Let me guess, the commander. I suppose that wasn't a hard guess. It wasn't? How so? Well, it started yesterday. The commander had thrown an exclusive party celebrating Crossbell's 70th birthday. At said party, the commander drank more alcohol than he probably should have. Alright. <clears throat> and then he had one of the soldiers drive our new armored car into the, his party. To his party? Wow. Must have been trying to win over his guests by showing off his new shiny ride, huh? Audacious. Audacious. Once the commander returned, he had the car parked inside the gate. The soldier gave the key back to him, and somehow he misplaced it. Now that we can't move it, we had no choice but to put a tarp over it, a last-ditch effort to conceal it. I was wondering what it was doing outside. <clears throat> but was that really your best move? The tarp makes it look more suspicious, I think. Well, if they left the car as it is, it would probably raise a lot of questions they don't wish to answer. For example, why exactly is the CGF newly heavy-duty armored car actively deployed inside the border gate? If the Imperial Army took that as a threat, I'm not sure we'd be able to reason with them. Oh, you can't be serious. At the very least, we'd like to avoid any provocations at all costs. Is this new model really all that? The armor car we were using before was pretty nice, when it came to defense and mobility, if I remember right. Trust me, it is. The new model is an upgraded, more combat-oriented version of the, our old cars. It's equipped with Vulcan cannons, miniature muscle pods, and an overhaul of its base firepower. <clears throat> if you inspected the CGF's entire arsenal, it would easily come out on top, no doubt about it. Gotcha. I agree with you. Then leaving that out in the open is a good idea. So, oh, where exactly is the old so wonderful committee right now? Hey. Anyway, this was his room, yeah? I get to that. I'll get to all that. This morning, the commander left and told us to find the blasted key while I'm gone. Not like he ran away from his own problem. Also, he made sure to inform us that he absolutely had no use had to use the festival social gathering to his advantage. Ugh. Sounds like him. Uh, the more I hear about this commander, the less I am eager to meet him. Sounds like a certain police commissioner or vice commissioner. Anyways, we really want to move the armored car out of the public eye ASAP. Will you help us find the key? Except. We'd be happy to help, Matt Ward, officer. Really? Thank you very much. Now, would you mind helping us retrace the commander's steps? Did he mention anything that might give us any leads? Let me think. If you'd like to hear what I was about to get out of him this morning, I would be more than happy to share. <laughs> that should suffice. When the commander returned, he had the armored car parked right inside the gate. He makes me tired. And he took the key from the soldier driving. Most likely due to craving a light meal in an attempt to sober up, so he stopped by the mess hall and had one of the cooks make him some food. Afterwards, he waltzed up to the roof and sung his heart out while, for a while. And once he finished, he realized he had no idea where the key had gone. Three locations. Sounds like a proper drunk. <laughs> I think it was a miracle that he made it to the rooftop at all, given his condition. What a loser. From what we just heard, we know for a fact that he was lost while he was galvanizing around the gates. And if that's the case, we shouldn't have to worry about searching anywhere other than Bel Belgard Gate. Pigrielli. Alright then, we should perform a sweep of the general area first. Who knows, we might find some clues or lock the key. Bones Officer Merrill, would you like to accompany us on our search? 
No, I'm sorry. I feel like I would just get in the way if I came along. In the meantime, I'll search for it by carrying apart the commander's office. <laughs> Sounds good, Mario. Even in the most desperate of situations, you can always count on me. Jeez, Randy, I am counting. I am counting on you, Randy. You should go ahead and commence our search for the key. Let us start by checking out the armored car in the surrounding area. Okay. So we examine the center area. Examine the blue tarp covered tank, then go into the dining hall and talk to Stella. So, according to Mario, the commander parked the car here, and it hasn't been moved since. I'd say we should search the area for the key, but I assume the CGF would have found it if it was actually here. Good point. It would be a waste of time searching the area again. But it's under the tire. Uh, besides, since the car had those bulky Vulcan cannons on top. You can't exactly remove the tarp to take a closer look. Yes, you can. Damn. I kind of wanted to see this baby in all its glory. Brandy, have you ridden in an armored car like this before? <clears throat> I'm curious as to whether the suspension has been improved from earlier models. Yep. And I'm wondering about the same thing. If they got permission to use them. I'm sure they'd be super nice for patrols and stuff like no. <laughs> I would die of happiness, eh? <laughs> I think you might be right. Looks like we have visitors from the Empire. Let's go check it out. Fancy car. With the highlighted rims. Oh, limo. Here's the Ryan Ford Company limousine. Who owns it? Wait a second. Oh, if it isn't the fine ladies and gentlemen of the special support section. No. It's Mr. Kreuz. Not who I thought. Uh, good day, everyone. I trust that crossbow has been treating you well. Uncle Dider? Been a while, sir. <laughs> it's justice! <laughs> it has, in has indeed. You'll have to forgive me. Did my arrival get in the way of your duties? Not at all. As always, you can't help but feel energized by the aura of his... Are you returning from a business trip by any chance, sir? That's right. Negotiations in the Empire. Now, if you don't mind me asking, <clears throat> what exactly is that giant thing sitting behind you? Guess it's hard not to notice. It's kind of a long story. <laughs> I see. Allow me to make an educated guess, then. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it must be one of the CGS new armored cars or something like that, right? How did you... <laughs> did I get you off guard? There's a simple explanation, I assure you. You will see, at the party I attended yesterday, I ran into the CGF officer's <laughs> commander. He, in his drunkenness, mentioned something about that very car to one of his subordinates, I believe. I've sat with him at multiple parties now, and I really do think he should work on that drinking problem of his. That answers that. You must have left the Empire directly after the party, correct? <clears throat> if that's the case, you might have the clue we're looking for. Hmm, what exactly do you mean? Allow me to explain. The SSS information informed data of the situation and their support request. I think I'm starting to understand. No wonder the CGF left a weapon like this in the middle of the ped pedestrian view. However, I'm afraid I won't be of much help to you all. Like I said earlier, I had a negotiation with the Empire today. Okay, we got it. So I had to leave the party early in order to make it to on time. In other words, by the time the commander made it back to Belgard Gate, I had already long gone. Ah, oh, jeez, what a bummer. Guess all we can do is stick to the retracing his steps. This may be presumptuous of me to ask, but... Can I give you a piece of advice I was given by Bell a long time ago? 
Maribel give you advice? Again, it was many, many years ago, but I had a habit of losing things. I would carry random things around and no matter where the item, I always forgot where I put them. Really? Would never have guessed that, judging by how you act now? <laughs> Even if I was disorganized, young man, at one point. Anyway, every time I would lose something, Belle would always be there to find it for me. <clears throat> Pardon me, and each time she would let me out a great big sigh and tell me this. Father, how many times do I need to tell you? When you lose something, you have to look where you last expected it to be. Search the unexpected places? Well, I suppose that makes sense. In short, Belle was simply trying to tell me to change my perspective. Twice now you said that. Though I don't know how useful it, uh, you all will find this advice, of course. No, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Ha ha ha. I'm very happy to help. Oh, dear. Seems I've gotten carried away with all of this conversation. He forgot something. Ha ha. I think my car might be a little bit of a nuisance sitting in the middle of the gate like this. If you'll excuse me. Oh, have a safe drive home, sir. Thank you, sir. Till we meet again, SSS. <clears throat> and now we go to the dining hall and talk to Stella. Never changes that guy. You know, he gave us some pretty valuable advice. Aww. Hi, Kira. How's 14 treating ya? Who's that? I haven't seen that clip before. Oh, it's, uh, Rising Zero Dawn. <laughs> Uh, that's a good game. Change our perspective, huh? That is definitely something we forgot to think about. Might be the key to finding this, er, key. Now then, let's keep retracing the commander's steps and see what they take us. I believe one officer Maris saw us that the commander parked the car and went to the mess hall. Yeah, take our investigation there. Ah, how you doing tonight, Kira? Good to see you. That's all is why here. Oh, Stella, keeping yourself busy. Oh, Randy, funny seeing you here. I'm doing well, thank you. Dorman here from the apparently Hurricane Fred, I believe is what DJ said. I think I'm getting some, uh, well, it's raining here. On and off. I think that's what it's from. Were you wanting to order something? Not exactly. We're searching for the armored car's key as per warrant officer Muriel's uh, request. Oh, so you guys are the ones who got stuck with that. Warrant officer already asked me to look around. I, com I combed over the mess hall, high and low, but nowhere to be found. I suppose we can mark this mess hall off the list then. We are in the process of retracing the commander's steps. <clears throat> Do you mind recounting what you witnessed last night? Sure, I don't mind. The first day of the anniversary festival was incredibly hectic here. I was finally winding down from the craziness that day when the commander stormed in here utterly mess wasted. All of a sudden, he yelled at me to cook something that would sober him up. I had to do some forced overtime. Ah, uh, and it was right after I finished taking inventory for the night. That sucks. I understand that pain. <laughs> he must act like he owns the place. Oh yeah, he loves to show people who's boss. Deputy Commander Bells is quite different in that regard. Excuse me, would you know if he had the key on him when he while he was eating his meal? Beats me. I only heard about it being lost when I woke up this morning, so I'm afraid I wasn't really paying attention. Is that so? Hmm, there's no way of knowing whether he had the key on here or not. What's everyone doing gathered around the mess hall?
Good timing, Beyond. Who's their guy? Their son, Beyond. This is Beyond Stella. Ah, uh, uh, that's so bad. These people are helping the CGF recover the key or whatever. Nice to meet you. We're the special support section. Oh yeah, I heard about you all. Well, good morning. Hey, Beyond. Still the same military buff as I've always. Afraid so. I've been a while, Randy. So, Beyond. Did you end up uh, finding the key? You know, the one the warrant officer told us about. After giving it a quick scratch search, I can safely say that it isn't in the end. I'm pretty sure the commander didn't bother heading there after his meal anyways. Does that mean you weren't there? You weren't there last night? I'm just trying to relax for a bit. Been up and down a lot today. A stressful day? <clears throat> Makes you sure you didn't go into the end? According to the time he was eating in here, I went to go take a break on the roof. Uh, not long after he showed up there too. Wait, hold on. Do you remember something? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I passed by him when I was leaving the roof. And if I'm not wrong, I remember him spinning around something that looked like a keychain. That must have been the key you were all looking for. And that means... Extremely likely that the commander had the key when he was on the roof after leaving the mess hall. It bothers me that he would act so nonchalant with something so important. I certainly agree, but at least we picked up a viable statement. Haha, <laughs> good thing that memory of yours finally kicked in, eh? But better late than never, right? Ha ha ha. You have got to be kidding me. Do you realize how much time I wasted searching the mess hall because of you? <laughs> Sorry about that. I think it's about time for me to head back to work. See you later, Stella. Be an innkeeper? <laughs> hey, thanks to him, we bagged ourselves a good lead. Couldn't have done it without you, Stella. Randy's right. Even though you only knew it wasn't in the mess hall, that narrowed down our list of potential hiding places by a lot. Okay. Hmm. You're welcome. I actually had no idea how important that key was. You have to find it. Not just for the CGF's sake, but for Warrant Officer Merrill's too. We'll do our best, I promise. Now, it's our next destination on the roof. It's super long. <clears throat> well, we made it to the roof. According to Warrant Officer Merrill, the CGF commander swung, sung his heart out up here. Imagine it took a while to climb the stairs while he was under the influence. Yes, but our biggest issue is that he doesn't remember where exactly he misplaced the key. If you were to lose it anywhere, this would be the place. Let's try searching for an, a while. See what uh, what takes us, where it takes us. Oh, that's so tough. Tunnel leads to Erebonia, right? That's right. More specifically, the tunnel and the uh, fortified mountain pace up ahead both compromised Garlia's fortress. As the Empire's an easternmost stronghold, it is used to keep Calvard in check. Seeing as this close, I cannot help but feel incredibly intimidated by the Empire. <laughs> Can't blame you for feeling that way, Teotot. I don't like the name Teotot. After all, the mountains hiding two of the Empire's scariest weapons. The, rail <laughs> the railway guns? Railway guns? I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. Sure you have. The pride and joy of the Imperial Army. Their ultimate weapon of mass destruction. How are those bad boys for our 80 red reg shells? Wow. They were invented as a strategic safety measure for the Ryan Ford Company. A few years ago, tensions between the Empire and the Republic had finally reached a breaking point. While both countries began to conduct large-scale military exercises, the war over there opened, revealing two enormous railway guns. Weapons which have the capacity to hit Crossbell City if Erebonia were to unleash them. 
Tragedy would be unavoidable. Crossbell Times never once mentioned these while I was living in Cairo. I never knew things were they things were this different. I never knew things were that unstable at the time. Well, as you can see, they've got their trump cards stored away right away. Right now. We might tell the Liberlian Liberlian's Queen non-aggressive pack, thanks for that. Definitely. I've always heard that she was an admirable person, but I have a newfound respect for her now. Wow, there is so much chit chat. Looks like we got sidetracked. We should continue our search for the key. Okay. I examine the two corners of the west side. West side. What's this? A lid of juice can? Yeah. We can just throw that away. Wait, is that it? Wire? Oh, we're just in the world. Could this key be? Then let's pop between the two guards. Didn't I do that? It's with the shining light. Oh, it was just a 10 meter coin. Commander probably dropped it. Why not? It's proving difficult. Well, at the very least, we know for a fact that the commander was up here. Acting under the assumption that he dropped the key on the roof may not be the correct decision. If there were the case, the guardsmen would have found it immediately. Considering what Miss Cross told us earlier, we might need to change our perspective on this entire thing. Only a possibility, but what if the key fell into a place that we cannot normally reach? Let's investigate every nook and cranny of this place one more time. Then in the lower right corner, complete the quest. Then we will be able to swap. I see it. Ugh, so much for talking. Okay, it was going like that and it flung off and... How the hell did it end up in a place like that? Given its true location, I'm not surprised that they were unable to find the key, no matter how much they scored the gate. For now, let's warrant officer know. Let's let the warrant officer know. We need to borrow a ladder or something in order to grab it. We can shoot it. Right. Let's go find her. I think you were looking for this. Brandy handed the key to the armored car over to Meryl and explained how they found it. Seriously end up in a place like that? I never would have found it then. It probably happened like... What probably happened is that your commander dropped it while he was uh, singing on the roof. Ugh. That aside, we just relieved that you were able to find it. Thanks to you, we can finally move the armored car somewhere less conspicuous to travelers. I guess I'm in your desk at this time, Randy. Well, hopefully the stress is over for you. Sit there and relax and enjoy some uh, Trials from Zero. Don't worry about it. But if you really want to make things even, how about going on a date with me? It'll be a good time. I don't even know what I, I, mean, I was expecting. Idiots never change, do they? Oh, thank you for everything, SSS. You're welcome. If you ever need anything from us, all you have to do is submit a support request. I'll keep that in mind. Now, if you'll excuse me. That's shot down, Randy. Case closed, eh? I suppose so. I wasn't sure we would find the key for a second there. If a stranger picked it up, I don't know what we would have to done. After the done. After the done, 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 done. Uh, considering where it was dropped, I'd say we got lucky. I am inclined to agree. Instances like this could be avoided if the commander was a bit more observant. 
He's always been an incompetent jackass, even when I was stationed here. If we didn't find the key, Mara would probably have taken the heat for losing it. Man, that's hopeless. No denying that. Still, at least we know what the people are like, the deputy commander and the warrant officer do doing honest work in the CGF. I'd like to think that most of the guardsmen are following suit despite everything. Good point, Lloyd. Well then, time to head out. Yeah, let's go. All right, that's another one down. Here front B section monster. <clears throat> Presidential I enter the geofront sector. The monsters are located in the big room we Fort John's hideout, so take the bench shortcut. Alright. Is that bus stop? Oh my god, that looked like trains, buses, yada yada yada. Um, the bus stop. No bus stop here. Oh, there it is, right there in front of me. It's like they twisted everything around. <laughs> Couldn't find it. <clears throat> All right. So, this is the residential area. Go here, down. Go in here, take the vent shaft. Big monster should be here. The system save and let's do this all right so I can't do anything you can't do anything Just heal. All right, crash bomb. Devin MP'd right. Why are you healing? All right, the giant Moscow statue manipulates electrical arcs, fortune, pressure for chamber capability. All right, so we need to kill everything else before we damage this thing. Huh? Oh man, she's gonna. Oh, 
got some serious regen ability here. Summoning more. He's weak to earth and fire. I think he's really weak to earth. Yes. Beautiful. Wish they would get a little bit closer, though, but that's fine. Resistance to everything. Heal twice. Got it. Well, tough, wasn't he? 
How they learn Cross Mirage. All right, so what's next? Uh, missing associate, associate professor. Take the bus to the hospital. Um, detective. Chapter missing doctors. I think that's the one that's progressive the story. So let's go turn these in. Gospel Times. A mini famous view. This one? Important item retrieval. Associate Professor. Oh, that's a long one, so that's why it's not showing up there. Okay. Here, you can go rest up. They even rest up here. Alright. We also need to boost Ellie's last thing up. Ingenuity courts, huh? Ingenuity courts. Orb. Ellie. Courts. Ingenuity. Ingenuity. Orange. EP slowly recovers while walking on the field. Ooh. Nice. Actually, I should have that for you over here. For that one, for I need to boost her up. So she... Chapter 3, we also need to give the cat something. Go check for better weapons. <clears throat> Yay, she's all caught up. I can start working on her. I need some blue, and then she can start getting upgraded. Now, Ellie will maxed. Good. We can start working on Teal a little bit. Got much for selling old stuff, man. Oh, 
it'll do. Let's go back to the cat. We also need a rest again. Hi, doggo. Pet, pet. Gently caresses. Everything's so peaceful. For whatever reason, everyone goes into dummy mode when Ziet's around. It's unavoidable when Ziet's paint sunbathes. His fur turns all soft and fluffy. <laughs> ah, let's see. Let's go Tiger Croc. Rockfish. Give me back my item! I guess I really should have done that on Teal first, but whatever. Um, now we gotta go to the hospital. And that will take me... Talk to the receptionist, Sarah, to accept. Take the bus crossbow and go to the fisherman's build, huh? Looks familiar. Okay, more reading. <clears throat> uh, doctor, where could you be? Good afternoon, Sarah. We saw the support request you submitted. Oh, the special support section. Thank God you're here. Side quests are long, but they're really cool. I like how unique they are. Wait, what's going on again? Um, you don't remember? One of the St. Ursula's doctors has given gone missing, and we're, we're asked to search for him. You know, lady, you seem awfully calm about the whole thing. What gives? Yes, well, I wouldn't call this calm. I think saying I'm fed up with be, would be a bit more accurate. Fed up? Is that what you should be saying? Could you clarify the details of your request? Is the misunderstanding over how severe we each consider a mission person case to be? That didn't sound right at all. Oh, I should explain. The doctor in question is a man named Your Time, was it Gwanter? Uh, Dr. Wanter is, well, despite being an expert in his field, he sometimes disappears at the most, most inconvenient times. Dr. Gunter. Winter. New Winter. Wasn't he the doctor with the blue hair and the glasses from before? And he, by missing you means the guy's playing hooky. If we're being blunt, yes. The hospital still has a lot of things left on its plate. With him gone... What are you trying to tell us? Is that you have no idea where the doctor could have gone off to? Yes, unfortunately, that's exactly right. I'm sorry, everyone. It might have been uh, irresponsible for me to write the request like I did. Oh, I'm missing and all that. What do you think, guys? I think we could postpone this if we want. Based on the information given, the level of urgency seems quite low. Since Sarah's the one asking us, I want to follow up on this if we can. I suppose there's no, there's still a chance we could have mi gotten mixed up in some trouble. Sarah! Ugh, uh, pant, pant, pant. Lesson? How many times do I have to tell you? Shouting in the hospital is against the rules. The doctor. Eyes oh, and He says, sorry about that. I didn't actually mean to. Hey, if it isn't our favorite assault victim. Hey, you holding up, man? What? what? Oh, hey, uh, everyone. I really appreciate everything you did for me. Uh, wait, that's not the problem right now. Sarah, where the heck is Dr. Gunter? Winter. About that, I'm sorry, Linton. He still isn't back. You're joking, right? Oh, goddess, what am I going to do about this? All this work? I'm just an intern. 
Uh, no time to complain. I can do some of it, at least, at the very least. Hmm. What was that about? What was up with that? Oh, Dr. Guanzo just likes to put Corso Linton into doing his work pretty regularly. <laughs> this time, I believe he's desperately trying to follow up with the mountain of invoices the doctor has been avoiding. It must make his job ten times harder. Hmm. Yep, I doubt we can leave this one hanging in the case, if that's the case. We gotta do it for poor Linton. I agree. My pity for him is becoming too much to bear. Well, alright then. There, do you have any idea where Dr. Gwinter uh, might have gone? No? Does this mean you're accepting my request? Thank you, everyone. Recently, Dr. Gwinter has been talking about participating in an anniversary festival fishing tournament. Not impossible that his disappearance had something to do with that. Considering he left during work hours, he should probably still be wearing his lab coat. I'm sure he'll stick out like a sore thumb. Fishing tournament. I'm guessing fishing is more than just a hobby to him. If it involves fishing, I'm sure the Fishman's Guild on East Street will know something. Anyway, we accept your request, Sarah. Once we find him, we'll contact the hospital and bring him back. Sounds great. Thank you very much. Doctor. Now we gotta go to the Fisherman Guild. Thank God for buses. Fisherman dude. get something for this one. Something I missed on uh, Sky, second. Excuse us. Looks like nobody's in. I figured we'd be able to find a clue about Dr. Gwinter uh, if we came here. Those fishing freaks head out to their tournament or whatever it was. If they have, then our would be clue has already left the building. Do-do-do-do. Wait a moment. Please, I still sense a presence somewhere inside. Oh crap, I'm late. Oh, this isn't Detective Lloyd. Great timing, Copan. You got a second to answer a quick question? <clears throat> Sorry, man. Don't have time to sit here and chit chat. Gotta hurry to the fishing cup out on Ursula Road, Sandbar. Based on the time, it probably just started. The Fisher Cup? That's the fishing tournament. Oh, so you guys already know about it. Should know. Uh, getting... Nothing gets past an angler. The fishing cup is in the tournament being held in honor of the fishing guild's president, Mr. Fisher. Wait. I just said that I don't have time to sit around chit-chatting. If I don't hurry my rear out there, I'll... The other guys will snag the best spots. Just one more thing. One more thing! Um, amongst those attending the Fisher Cup, is there a doctor with glasses, blue hair, and white lab coat? Hmm... You talking about Johan? Johan? I'm pretty sure he was coming today, yeah. Bingo. Yeah. Oh, you guys are participating in the tournament? In that case, take this. I got a bamboo rod. But what? Why are you giving me this? I'm giving it to you as a memento of competing in the Fisher, Fisher Cup. It's a participation prize, so to speak. I don't ever recall committing to this tournament, so... Is this really okay? Wait, damn it, I forgot. I was running late. Sorry guys, got a jet. You gotta get moving or if you want to make it. For some reason, I'm in a, in a hurry. He really went out of his way. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we know Dr. Gunther, Winter, Winter, should be headed to the sandbar on Ursula's road. We must hurry and wheel him in. Uh, cut his enthusiasm. Eh, Tito Tot? Silence. I got a new fishing rod.
Let's catch the bus. South exit and then intersection and walk towards the stairs for an event. Oh, would you look at this? There's the doctor. There's a doctor. There's the doctor. <laughs> they look like they're enjoying themselves. Press, they can be so carefree with all these monsters around the highway. There are far fewer monsters than normal today. Were they scared away by the horde of fishermen? I kind of doubt that. But either way, we found our fishing tournament. All that's left to do is find Dr. Gunter. Alright, it says, talk to the blue-haired fisherman Lloyd and... Talk to the Oheim in the web lab coat near the coast, chest at the top. And we gotta talk to the blue haired guy. Do, 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 Ah, fishing is truly delightful. I guess that's what they say is true. The heart is really a soothe by the cast of your line. Always help me feeling refreshed after a long day at the hospital. Blue hair, white lab coat, I think we've got our man. Excuse me, are you Dr. Yulchain Winter? Yulchain? Yes, that's me. I apologize, but I'm in the middle of something important. You need some... Aha! Finally, a bite. He isn't even listening. I am! I am! I'm hooked! I need every word! Lame pun. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Sarah, the hospital receptionist, sent you a request to track you down, Doctor. Your repeat of absences are causing problems for Linton and the rest of the staff. Got you now! <clears throat> dun 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 dun. Oh wow, Viperhead. And a pretty big one at that. I can tell my daily trips from the hospital are finally starting to pay off. Dude's in his own little world. Sorry, bud, but I don't think he heard a single thing you said. Uh, I think you'll have to explain yourself again, Lloyd. But, but I was already yelling. No, there's no need to raise your voice any further. The hospital staff is waiting my return, right? It's nice to meet you all. I'm Dr. Yochain. Gwinter. 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 I'm just a simple associate professor over at the St. Ursula's Hospital. Hmm. I can't help but feel like we've met before. Deja vu, perhaps? I suppose there's really no point in trying to remember then. No, I wouldn't call this deja vu. We should have started with an introduction. Oh well, better late than never, right? Um, I'm Lloyd Bunnings. Member of the Cross Bell Police Department Special Support Section. Yada, yada, yada. Now, Dr. Gwinter, would you... Uh... It's fine, Lloyd. I understand the dilemma. Oh, does that mean you return to the hospital? A good question. However, I've been looking forward to Fisher Cup for the last two months. Kind of a big deal for us anglers. And since I won't have any free time during the festival, I figured I'd treat myself to this little fishing trip. You have no sense of responsibility as a physician? Oh, well, of course I do. My wrist is awfully sore from all the apology letters I had to write every time I snuck out of the hospital last month. Uh, it's a good thing my... Old Sean Linton was there to help me write half of them. We're getting a little off topic now. What do we have to do to convince you to return to the hospital? Hmm, let me think about it. Well, since we're already at the Fisher Cup, why don't we settle this over a battle of the baits? I mean, fishing. <clears throat> exactly. We managed to reel in something larger than the viper head I just caught. I'll gracefully accept it. Defeat in return. Simple, right? So it comes down to a fishing match, eh? You think you're up for it, Lloyd? Fine, I accept your challenge. Any rules I should know of? Spoken like a true angler. I'll show my viper head to the curtain in a little bit. Once you've caught a fish of your own, have him inspect it. That one as well. 
As long as your catch is larger than fish than my viper head, you will be declared the winner. Keep in mind. Ow, nice. Mind, there are no do-overs once you've shown your fish to certain. That's it. Oh, and no leaving the sandbar. Come with all your gear in hand because leaving the sandbar is sure. Do we supply is forbidden? How do the rules sound? No complaints for me. I hope I have enough bait on me. Maybe I should ask the other fishermen if I don't. I think it's time we start our bait off. The master bait off. Uh, good luck, Lloyd. Let's have some fun. Alright. Talk to the blue haired fishman, Lloyd, in the bottom area twice. Uh, yep. Uh, I want it to sound cool. Just remember a good time. Okay, yada yada yada. Not you. You? Yes. Wow. That was a must of a catch. I think I found the perfect fishing spot. Oh, are you guys members of the fishing guild too? Mr. Fisher. I suppose I am for the time being. Nice to meet you. My name is Lloyd. Lloyd, that's a pretty funny coincidence. If I do say my soul myself. What do you mean? Master Fisherman Lloyd. We share the same name, my boy. I'm Lloyd, a master fisher of the fisherman guild. Stone didn't ask me to be a special guest at the tournament. I packed my things up and came all the way from the bo I know this guy. Yeah, he's always at that, um, at the lodge. I'll be here for a duration of the anniversary festival. Let's reel in some prize catches all right after another Lloyd. Yeah, looking forward to it. Is this Lloyd that Estelle was talking about earlier? Like you're in the middle of a match yourself. Have a great time out there. I saw just a second that, but boy, uh, yep, it was enormous. Had to pull out all the stars to be the monster. Catfish should do the trick. Because it's king of us, like... Well, that's reassuring. Come on, kid. Don't make that face. Your first priority should be to have fun. You know what? I'll give you a useful piece of advice. Don't go for the uh, deadliest catch right off. The bat. The trick is to start off by stocking up on small fry fish. Real money catchers won't be satisfied with some dinky earthworms. You gotta bait them in with real food. Like small fish. This spot's good for catching small fry. Here, try using this for bait. Uh, thanks, I appreciate it. We know magic. Ah, uh, so I have to start small, huh? Alright, let's give this a shot. Alright. Give this a save, and then we'll give it a shot. Alright, so we got the money. At the first spot near Lloyd Fishman, catch at least one Asagan using the feather tackle and red flies. Alright. Catfish. 3 DP. If you already have a catfish in your inventory, you don't need another catfish. Uh, still get the bonus DP. I don't think I have a catfish. Do not. Okay, so it looks like we're catching a catfish. Alright, so we're going to try that one more time. Save. Um, so we need... And the feather tackle and red flies. Yes, get to that. All right, so we got one of those. by the monster chest. That one over here. Alright, so we're going to use... Alvis Rod and the Bait. Don't miss it, you'll be alright. Oh, that's bullshit. Coco 
こなら釣れそうだな。That's why I saved it, yeah? Exactly why I saved it. <clears throat> Let's Not what I want, dude. Gotta catch a catfish, huh? Yeah, got a catfish. You risk. I don't know, I just get. Uh, prevents faint. Nice. <clears throat> All right, so I already have a catfish. I need another one. Talk to that brown hat and choose a second option. Uh, aren't you a newest member, Lloyd? I've heard stories about your kid. I haven't went and invited you to the guild, eh? Nice. Nice to meet you, Lloyd. The name's Sturden. I'm the Fisherman Guild's manager here in Crossbell. Are you talking about... What are you talking about? I don't recall ever joining the guild. I mean, sure, I did accept the fishing rod earlier. Really. <laughs> don't sweat the details, kid. You already are comrade and up rods. Don't think I'm escaping this one. Uh, looks like we'll be have to share a love of fishing. Be waiting to bet Cardin would talk about it for hours in the end. Oh yeah, I heard you're having a showdown with Johan. Johan. Go time. The format's a little different from an official fishing match, but that's fine. Just give me a shout out when you're ready to do not deliberate. Let's see, Johan's Viper Head, so it's all up to you now. Out of all the fish you caught, the largest among them is a catfish. If this is the fish you want to challenge him with, sounds good. I'll go grab your, uh, your time uh, so I can announce the results. <laughs> Are you sure your fish measures up to mine? I'm not sure, but I don't plan on losing to you. Yeah, I'm excited to see the results. If you'll do the honors, Cardin, third on. Judge away, my friend. Hmm, let's see. Dr. Gunter's corner. We've got an impressive viper head. Out of all the fish Lloyd caught, the largest among them was a catfish. After judging the winner is... Lloyd. Oop. Lloyd Bonnings! Come again. Are you sure there wasn't an error in your judgment? Them's the brakes, bud. Lloyd's fish is absolutely massive. Trust me, my eyes never lie. <clears throat> You're kidding. You did it, Lloyd. Hell yeah. You never fail to deliver. As long as I can... <laughs> See, beforehand, no. I, I won. Ah, uh, fate is cruel. Well, win's a win. Here's a little present to celebrate your victory. Celestial bomb. Nice. <clears throat> Didn't say I was going to get one of those. Thank you, Dr. Gunter. Winter? I appreciate it. Now it's time for me to hold up my end of the bargain. Off to the hospital I go. Really? I was expecting you to throw more of a fuss. Excuse me, miss. I'm not some rowdy child. I'll... Anyways, our little match was a great opportunity to get some quality fishing in. I'm more than satisfied for the time being. Huh. He's a crafty one, ain't he? He was totally using us to buy more fishing time, I bet. Utterly despicable. Despicable. I haven't the faintest idea what you mean. It was. <laughs> I like him. It was a pleasure, Car Certain. I'll see you around. Sure, Val. Look forward to seeing you at the next competition. Likewise, friend. Hmm. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, special support section, I have the hospital to attend to. I'll be waiting at the bus stop if there's anything else you can need from me. That dude had us completely wrapped around his finger. He's cunning, all right. I do not trust him in the slightest. He might swim away the moment we take our eyes off of him. Yeah. We should take the safe bus to make sure he actually goes back to the hospital. Yeah. Off to the next day after this one. On the road, were you, doctor? Due to your absence, staff and patients have been very inconvenienced. <laughs> well, if you must know, I was competing in an intense event known as the Fisher Cup. The Fisher Guild ran it, and being a member of it myself, I could... Couldn't exactly skip it, could I? Doctor, this is serious. You realize that Linton is filling in for you as we speak, don't you? Oh, Linton? Is he? Hmm. <laughs> I really am blessed to have such a capable people. I think it would be rude of me to train on his parade, considering how hard he's working. Why not let things continue as they are? Yes, I think that's for the best. It will be very educational for him. Very educational indeed. Get back to work right this instant. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Get him, girl. Is this guy always like this? If he's qualified to teach as well, he must be quite gifted in his field. You ask me, he's working smarter than not harder. <laughs> he is, indeed. He figures that you to sympathize with his work ethic. Well, ladies and gents, it's been a pleasure, but I'll have to excuse myself here. Next time we meet, let's go fishing again, all right? I won't take no for an answer. <sighs> I have a guy that comes to work. He's a customer. And he's a millionaire. He's a doctor, right? Uh, he comes in and just blows money. And uh, he's a good guy, but he doesn't listen. <laughs> and you're not supposed to touch the cards right away. He'll pick them up and look at him like, stop touching your cards. Stop touching your cards. Stop touching your cards. I don't care how much money you make. Stop touching your damn cards. <laughs> um, and then another guy sat down. And they started talking. And then he started talking about how much money he spent on his child's education. He said two million. Possible? Usually. Um, he said that he's famous and top ten doctor. And he's wrote in a couple books, Tales in the ER. Um, I have no reason not to believe him. Um, I found a couple of the books with his name on it. So, yeah. And... Uh, He's a surgeon, so I think he's, like, retired now. But, um... Yeah. You ever watch this? Stop picking up the damn cards too early. Not that difficult, man. Again, um, ignore that. Don't know what he's talking about. So, do you need anything else from us? No, no. That should be everything. Thanks for the help. You four are lifesavers. You brought him back into the record time, too. We'll be calling you if something like this happens again. I have a good feeling you all will be able to handle whatever we throw at you. Of course, you can count on us, Sarah. All right. Now we get to go back to town. I don't have to read it. <laughs> well, that reading made me thirsty. Hi, Lloyd. This Lloyd Bannon speaking. Ugh. Alright. Uh, 
、ええ、やみ。お疲れ様です。はい、フラン。フランカ。昨日はどうも。誘ってくれてありがとう。<笑>そりゃ光栄だなそれでどうしたひょっとして緊急要請かあはいそうなんです、はい、実はその旧市街の不良さんたちがいるじゃないですかちょうど今その人たちが公安区で喧嘩をしているみたいで、really? 本当かあいつら証拠にもなく。観光客だって大勢いるだろうにそうなんですよそれで警察に連絡が入ってきてただ巡回中の警官はみんな忙しくて手を裂けそうにないらしくてそれで彼らと面識のあるロイドさんたちにお願いできないかとわかった公安区だなちょうど町に戻ったところだからすぐに急行するよ公安区で何があったのああワジとバルドたちだあの辺りで証拠にもなく喧嘩沙汰を起こしているらしいそれはさすがに迷惑ですねやれやれ祭りの熱気に当てられちまったってところかとにかく人でも多いだろうしすぐに止めた方が良さそうだこのまま公安区に向かおうええ、分かったわそんじゃまガキどもを説教しに行くかねえええええええええええええええええええええええええええあれは。あら、青坊主。気合い入れてかかってこいや。言うまでもないさ。行くぞあれは何をしているのかしらそれほど険悪な雰囲気ではなさそうですけどただの怠慢ってわけじゃなさそうだがとにかく事情を聞こう幸いワジもバルドも来ているみたいだしちょっとちょっとあなたたち何してるのよ、うん、えっ、ー、<笑>まったく連絡を受けて見に来てみればゾロゾロとあなたたち旧市街のテスタメンツとサーベルバイパーね喧嘩は終わりとっとと解散しなさいよねなんだてめえらは。あなたたちが喧嘩をしていると連絡を受けて、仲裁に来ました。流撃士だとエステル・ブライトにヨシュア・ブライト。雑誌で何度か見かけたことがあるね。そりゃどうも。えっと。あなたたちが両チームのリーダーってところ一応ね僕はテスタメンツのマジこっちはバイパーのバルトさ情報通りだね見たところ喧嘩をしているわけじゃなさそうだけど<笑>単なるお遊びさせっかくの記念祭だからねどうせだったら普段と違うことをしようと思ってさそれで勝ち抜きタイマンバトルをしようってことになったわけさか勝ち抜きタイマンバトル
両チームから5人ずつ出して1対1の勝負で勝ち抜き戦をさせる大将はワジとそちらのバルト最終的に負けた側が勝った側の記念祭での飲食費を払う取り決めだ<笑>試合みたいなもんねそれなら別に構わないかで違う違う試合をするのはともかくこんなところでしちゃダメでしょ<笑>ここは人通りも多いんだし別の場所でやればいいじゃないそんなのは俺らの勝手だしかしてめえ遊撃士だかなんだか知らねえが随分と偉そうな口を叩きやがるな、uh, Don't fuck with Joshua マジに乗ってんじゃねえのかあ,あのね調子に乗ってるのはあなたたちでしょ私は常識的なことを言ってるだけじゃないこのアマどうやら少しばかり痛い目に遭いたいらしいなそこの黒髪の人と一緒に淡いがってやってもいいんだぜよっしゃどうしようまあ周りの目もあるしあまり大人げないことはしない方がいいと思うけどねやっぱりてめえら何ぶつくさいってやがる<笑>肉だきのバルドバレッサラが怖くねえのかやめときなよバルドそのお姉さん武術込みだったら多分君より強いよ何<笑>へえわかるんだなんとなくだけどねそちらのお兄さんは実力的にはさらに上なのかな<笑>まだまだ修行中の身だけどねうんヨシアの方が上っていうのは確かにそうなんだけど決めつけられるとそれはそれでちょっと納得いかない、ね、<笑>まあまあ遊撃士の仕事は何も戦闘だけじゃないんだし。<笑>こんな小娘が俺より上だと、yes. <笑>だったら証明してみせろや、uh, this is gonna be fun. Just gonna 大丈夫、任せて。ほら、言わんこっちゃない。ま、ワールドさんがなんだあの女すごいあれが遊撃士えっと大丈夫ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハさすがに舐めすぎなんじゃねえかあ危なエッセルやれやれ君たちもちょっと調子に乗りすぎじゃないああそうみたいだねだからといって謝るのも筋が違うとは思うけど<笑>目の色が変わりやがったなわかるぜてめえは相当強いそういったやつを叩きのめすのが俺は何よりも楽しみでな Dude, you tell you to get your ass ちょちょっとよしよあたしは大丈夫だからあんまり本気にならないでよまた<笑>ロイド君たち話は聞かせてもらったよ双方ともまずは落ち着いてくれ<笑>落ち着いてられるかよ遊撃士いいじゃねえか噂には聞いてたがまさかここまで続々させてくれるとはな Just a short -tempered dude. 落ち着いてくれって言ってるだろうそもそもここは公共の場所だ怠慢勝負にしても
筋を通すにしても他の場所でやってくれうんそうは言ってもねここまで盛り上がった以上はい解散ってのもあれじゃないマジバルドは頭に血が上ってるしお姉さんたちもお仕事で来ているお互い勝負するくらいしか筋は通せないんじゃないかな<笑>その通りだぜうん、私もなんだかちょっと腹が立ってきたわねそっちがその気なら決着をつけてもいいんですけど上等だああもう君もなんとか言ってくれよ、うん、ごめん僕もちょっと引けないかな<笑><笑>それじゃあ僕はバルドに加勢しようかなさすがの君もその二人を相手にするのは厳しいだろうしうん勝手にしろよだあだからなんでそうなるんだってこ困ったわねこのままだとすごい乱闘騒ぎになってしまいそうですねあのよそんなにやり合いたいんなら別の方法でやればいいんじゃねうん、せっかくの祭りだ遺恨を残してもつまらねえだろうだったらスカッとする方法で決着をつけるっつうのはどうだよスカッとする方法だえっとランディさんどういうことああそいつはな。なるほどね旧市街の地形を利用したチェイスバトルかなかなか楽しめそうじゃないふん<笑>いいじゃねえか妨害あり、okay. 何でもありの喧嘩レースってわけだなスピードパワーテクニックそれに駆け引き一通りが必要になるわけですねへえ面白そうかもはは<笑><笑>だろうだろってランディ<笑>喧嘩にならないのはいいけど結局周りの人たちに迷惑をかけるんじゃないかしらまあその割には皆さん見物に集まってますけどまあいいんじゃないなんかお祭りっぽくてさそれで本当に君たちも参加するわけ仕方ないだろうここまで関わっておいて知らんかはどうかと思うしやれやれ真面目だねランディの提案だろ<笑>その代わり完全に試合形式にしてルールから外れたことはしないこと決着がついたら遺恨は残さずそれ以上は争わないことうーん私たちはもちろん依存はないけど<笑>俺もそれでいいぜこうなったら。遊撃士も警察もまとめて相手をしてやるよ誰が一番か証明するためにな<笑>それじゃ正々堂々と戦いましょうそれとさっきは私の態度も悪かったかもそのごめんなさいあ,あ<笑>ままたすげえな相変わらず。<笑><笑>すごいねお姉さんこのタイミングで謝ったらレースの意味がないじゃんかでも試合形式にするって時点でなんかどうでもいいっていうかお互い全力を尽くして楽しめればいいんじゃないの、はあ、君ってこわ<笑>変な女だぜまあいい赤毛ルールを説明しろや誰が赤毛だ誰が<笑>さっきも言ったようにレースの基本は追いかけっこだワジバルドの旧市街チームエステルヨシュアの遊撃士チームそしてロイド俺の支援家チームこの3チームで旧市街を3周して一番早くゴールしたチームが勝者となるあ、oh, ただし
各チームには毎週3箇所のチェックポイントを押さえてもらう。チェックポイントは通りの奥にある路地。衝撃を与えると点灯する装置が置かれている。こいつを3箇所ぶったたかないと一周したとはみなされないわけだ。この地形を利用することで一方的に逃げることは不可能になるレース中は相手の妨害もかつまりよほど先行していない限り相手から妨害を受けることになるわけだそれを迎撃するも何とかかわすもチームごとの戦術的判断になるなうんよくできたルールじゃないちなみにトラップとかはありなのありとしておこう。直接やり合うだけじゃなくて地形を生かした妨害なんかも可能になるってわけだななるほどよっしゃどうしたの、uh, so、here. いや大体ルールは分かりましたスタート順はどうするんですかコイントスでいいだろうロイドバルドエステルちゃんそれぞれ1ミラ効果を出しなあ,あうん分かったわそれぞれ弾いて手の甲に表か裏か揃わなかった方が一番手のスタートとしようなるほどそれじゃほいっと、yeah. That makes sense. <笑>ロイドストーンはリッチフォッターコイン表表よ裏<笑>俺たちが一番手かよしそんじゃあわじにコイントスしてもらおうか了解ロイドエステルちゃん表か裏かを選んでくれえっといいよ先に選んで<笑>それじゃあ表で俺は裏だ裏2番手はロイドたちだねよしは<笑>いいよ今回のルールだったら最初の順番は重要じゃないえっとそれじゃあこれで一通り決まったのかしらああそうだなそれじゃレース前に各チーム作戦会議と行こう一度レースが始まったらタイムとかはなしだからな<笑>そうね<笑>それじゃあバルド仲良く打ち合わせしよっか<笑>気色悪いんだよ right. さてロイド気づいてるかもしれんがこのレース俺たちが一番不利だ<笑>まあねワジとバルドのチームは旧市街を知り尽くしている<笑>一方エステルとヨシアのチームはポテンシャルが半端なさそうだそういうこった俺たちが勝つ可能性があるとすれば運と役割分担と的確な状況判断俺は後衛に回るからお前は前衛に徹してくれいいけど足はランディの方が速いだろコンビの場合速い方がフォローに回った方が連携が取りやすいそれに防御に関して言えばお前のトンファーは相当なもんだ迎撃するにしてもかわすにしても的確な判断ができるだろううん分かったやってみるよどっちも手ごわそうだけど参加するんなら勝ちに行こう<笑>その意気だぜそうだなせっかくだからコンビネーションを使ったクラフトもこの辺りで試しておくかあオッケーそれだけカンボクラフトいきなり大丈夫かなーにお互いの癖も大体分かってるだろうしなぶっつけ本番にはなるがさ
それじゃあ号令は私が務めさせてもらうわね最初の空砲で第1チームがスタート5秒後の空砲で第2チームがスタートさらに5秒後最後の空砲で第3チームがスタートタイムのカウントは私が担当しますでは我々は見物人が巻き込まれないよう配慮しよう<笑>舞台が整ったみたいだねいいえ真打ちがまだよ<笑>グレイスさん確かクロスベルタイムズのヤッホーボーイズガールズなんだか面白そうなことをやろうとしてるみたいじゃないお姉さんも一枚かませなさいよねかかませなさいって<笑>何をしやがるつもりだ答えはこれよレースといえばやはり実況カメラマンも連れてきたから思いっきり盛り上げてあげるわなんだか本当にお祭り騒ぎになった気が<笑>いいじゃない喧嘩より何倍も楽しいわよやれやれせいぜい期待しときますかそ,じゃそろそろ始めよう<笑>そうだねバルド用意はいいかい<笑>いつでもいいぜそれではカウントを始めますドライツバイアインヌルさあレースの開始です第1組ワジアンドバルドチーム素晴らしいスタートを切りました今第1チェックポイントを通過し第2チェックポイントへ向かいました第2組ロイドランディチームスタートしましたランディ選手軽快な走りロイド選手もなかなかの速さです今第1チェックポイントを通過第3組エステランドヨシュアチームスタートですチームワークは折り紙付き遊撃士としての実力も A クラス今第1チェックポイントを通過先行チームのバルド選手いきなり大技ださあロイドチームどうする判断は任せたお先ロイドランディ選手ドラム缶をなんとか回避しかし体勢を崩してしまいややタイムロスどうする仕掛けよう Oh, ここでエステランドヨシア選手がとんでもないスピードで追い追いつかれるなおいロイドせっかいかおっとなんだなんだこの白い煙はひょっとしてエステルチームが仕掛けたトラップだったのかごめんねお先に<笑>追いかけるぞ<笑>来たわね突破するよ行<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>じゃあねーさあ第1チェックポイントを通過第2チェックポイントを
白熱してるじゃんふふんブザマだなま敵は取ってあげるよワンジャンとバルト選手倒れたロイドチームをスルーして第3チェックポイント2だエステルチームの追撃に移りますっくくそこのままじゃ<笑>ラ,ランディはいどうなんでいいね熱くなってきたぜこうなりゃとことん楽しませてもらおうじゃねえかさあエステルチームヒロバを通過して3周目に突入このまま独走を許せば彼女たちの勝利となりますがおっとやはりそうはトンヤが下ろさないようです来たわねってえなんで一人なのまさか当たりハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ激しいデッドヒートを始めた両チームもうこれでこの2チームに勝利は絞られてしまうのでしょうかうすすごい,すごい楽しいパワーですランディ選手というかあの装置完全に壊れちゃってないアスクラン anyways な,なんだワイヤートラップ <laughs> He trapped him on the wire. I can't see the car! What the? Most of you are. You don't do it. Ha 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 Oh, he won. Lloyd and the Landy team of the star. Coco de Hoka no Nichimo will go. But she was talking on the question. Ah, yeah. Tony Kakumina, Oscar Sama. Can't get no minasan. Oh, she be nice. Hack shot. I thought I had to run it myself. <laughs> That was cool. <laughs> 2人ともお疲れ様すごいレースでしたおめでとうございます<笑>全部ランディの作戦勝ちだよ<笑>いやお前がいなけりゃ最後の仕掛けは成り立たねえさ<笑>さあさすがに飛ばしすぎたぜ<笑><笑>これだから男の子は。<笑>単純というか意地っぱりというかまあ女の子も一人いましたけど<笑>そうねそうだ私冷たい飲み物買ってくるわねあ私も付き合います東通りの屋台でいいですよねええそうね2人ともちょっと待ってて<笑>ああそういえばなんで俺たちこんなことしたんだっけ<笑>どうでもよくなっちまったな<笑>なランディ正直引いただろうあんなふうに切れちまってよなっ<笑> <Just saying. 笑> Gingers have short tempers. Jibun demo, Yoku Akaranenda. 
いつもヘラヘラ笑っている俺が今の本当の俺なのかそれともあんな風に切れちまうのが俺の本質なのかこの人間すっかりわからなくなっちまったランディその警備隊に入る前にはどこにいたんだクロスベル出身じゃないことは聞いているけど<笑>どこにいたか煉獄のように暑く冥府のように寒いところかね<笑>血も魂も沸騰し凍りつくような世界あらゆる命の輝きと草のようなお礼が入り混じったようなところそれが俺のいた場所だランディなんてな<笑>それっぽかったろう俺の過去なんざそんな大層なもんじゃねえさ今はただの夜遊びが大好きなクールでハンサムなナイスガイだそれ以上でも以下でもねあのさランディ前にも話したけど俺には兄貴がいたんだえうんガイ・バニングス捜査一課に所属していた捜査官とんでもなく破天荒でありえないくらい前向きで事故で両親を亡くした後男で一つで俺を養ってくれて憧れてた人を取られても嫉妬すら湧いてこないようなとにかくすごい男だったよそっか<笑>お前も大変だなそんなすげえ兄貴の背中を追いかけてるってわけかまあねでさ、はいはい、少し白状すると、うん、ランディってさちょっと兄貴に似てるんだよなあ、oh, that a bro moment えもちろん顔とかは全然似てないんだけどいつも俺とかエリーやティオをさりげなくフォローしてくれるだろうそんなところがちょっと似てるんだおいおいこっぱずかしいこと言うなよお兄さん顔が赤くなっちまうぜ<笑><笑>そういう照れ隠しもちょっと似てるかもうえだから<笑>ランディのことを尊敬してるところがあるんだよなちゃんと自分を分かっていて他人にも気を使えるところおお、oh, You know yourself well enough that you, <laughs> you can work, <laughs> work to take care of others. Easy mistake. First one I've seen. Oh, 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 いつか俺が兄貴やランディと肩を並べられるようになったらその時は聞かせてくれないかロイド<笑>ラ,ランディあ、oh, あ、これはプロいやー、参った参ったお嬢もこぼしてたけどお前、天性の女たらしかもなおっとこの場合兄貴たらしってところかなレディーキャラキャラっていうか半人前なのは確かだけど子供扱いはさすがにやめてくれよ<笑><笑>何やってるんだかはい冷たい飲み物ラムネの屋台があったので買ってきましたおおありがたいねまあマジで助かるよ<笑><笑>まったく
男の子と来たら消耗したばかりなんだからあんまりじゃれ合わないのエリーさん焼いてます<笑>ちょそんなわけあるはずないでしょそれにその男の子同士になんで聞いた話だとそういう特殊なジャンルもあるそうですし<笑>これはもうフラグが立ってしまったのかもしれませんね<笑>そ,そうなの<笑>悪いなお嬢この世界は弱肉強食食うか食われるかが全てなのさ<笑>あなたね<笑>はあ、何の話をしてるんだか<笑>にぎやかだねいやそっちはもう回復したのか<笑>まあね今日のところは素直に負けを認めておこうかな<笑>ふざけた結末だぜおい赤毛今度はガチで勝負しろよあの最後の爆発力てめえ猫かぶってやがったなああ<笑>別にそういうわけじゃねえよあんだけ一気に力を出すとその分消耗も激しくってな奥の手みたいなもんだからあんまりやりたくねえだけさあの黒髪の小僧といいまあいいさすがに今日は疲れたてめえら、引き上げるぞ。ああ、these scenes are awesome。それじゃあ、僕たちも失礼しようかな。アディオス、なかなか楽しかったよ。撤収だ。いや。ああ、レイブンたちよりもずいぶん盗撮されてるわね。お疲れ様<笑>そっちこそお疲れなんだもう帰んのかはいもともと仕事で来ていたこともありますしそれを言うなら私たちも同じですけど<笑>もう夕方になっちゃったわね<笑>楽しかったからいいじゃないせっかくのお祭りなんだしちょっとくらいは楽しまないとねげ元気だな<笑>まあそれがエステルの取り柄だからでもランディさん体の方は大丈夫なんですかねへえへえ同じ匂いはしなかったがお前もそっち絡みなのかいえ正確には違いますですが多少知識の方はそうかまあガキの頃から慣れっこにはなってるからな後に残るダメージはねえさそうですかすみません差し出がましいことをいや気にすんな he doesn't have a stigma does he? ランディちょっとちょっと何二人で分かり合ってるのよいや、yeah, I think he has a stigma does he use that burst of power just like、uh... What's his name? Graham. <laughs> Father Graham. Kevin Graham, eh? Taisha, I'm not sure. So, you're a little bit of 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 a little bit なんだなんかあんのかうんあのねシュバルツオークションって知ってるシュバルツオークションですかどうやらこのクロスベルのどこかで開かれるオークションらしいのフンシーシュマンシー何でも毎年記念祭の期間中に開かれているらしくってでここが肝心なんだけど盗品ばかり扱ってるって話なのよと盗
上品本当なのかいやあくまでも噂だよ途方もない価値のついた表に出せない由来の品ばかりが出品されるという話だけどでもその様子だと聞いたことはないみたいだねああ初めて聞いたよ警察のデータベースでも見かけたことはありませんねシュバルツオークションかなかなか洒落た名前だけどなそっかあなたたちなら何か知ってると思ったんだけどやっぱりただの噂なのかなうんそうだねナイアルさんの情報ソースだから確かだとは思うんだけど<笑>ごめんね変なことを聞いちゃって今日は楽しかったわ負けちゃったのは悔しいけど今度は同じ事件かなんかで一緒に協力できるといいわね<笑>そうだなそれじゃあ僕たちはこれで皆さんお疲れ様でしたおうそちらもお疲れさんこんなのがあと3日あるかと思うとちょっとうんざりしてくるな昨日の件は自業自得ではああいうレースを提案したのはランディさん自身ですし今になって後悔してるのつつのエッグエッグエッグエッグエッグエッグエッグエッグエッグエッグエッグエッグエッグエッグエッグエッグエッグまだ二十歳かそこらで何を言ってるんだか<笑>ロイドどうしたんですかんああ昨日エステルたちが言ってたことが気になってさシュバルツオークションだったかでもただの噂の可能性も高そうなんですよねああそうなんだけどさクロスベルの状況を考えるとあながち噂だけの話じゃなさそうな気がするんだよな確かにマフィアが大手を振って歩いているような場所だしな何があっても不思議ではないその通りかもしれません<笑>実は前にちょっと気になる噂を聞いたことがあるわ気になる噂それはどういう私が以前各国に留学していたのは話したと思うけどその時知り合った貴族のお嬢さんから聞いたことがあるの毎年クロスベルのある場所で秘密のパーティーが開かれているって秘密のパーティーバブルーバブルーバブルー Got off for work early. Uh, got home, did some things. Had to call to check up on this computer I helped my brother buy. And I got that all taken care of.、Um, after that, I fiddled around on this marketplace thing. Made it's a demo, so. It's not real money, but I have a friend helping me out. I understand it, and I made $8,000. Not real money, it's demo money, so I can't, it doesn't earn anything.、Uh, so I'm practicing with that.、Um, and then I played,、uh, I did that for about an hour. Then I played some、um, Final Fantasy III and got my ass kicked on that for a while. <laughs> yeah. I caught a,、um, I guess, w a the right timing. And I bought at like 50 units 
Um, and it kind of goes through cycles or something like that, but roughly after about 10 minutes peaking, I sold it. And yeah, it was pretty nice. Though, like I said, it was not real money, so. Yeah, I mean, if you're interested in it, uh, I can get it for you. Like I said, you can just make a demo account and fiddle around with it. Um, you can use the demo account as much as you want. You can make multiple demos accounts uh, just so you get some practice with it. It's a little bit different than normal stocks because uh, usually you buy low, sell high. This one you buy when the, the market's going up and sell when it's going down. And then you finish off transaction at a positive rate. Yeah, sure. Um, the thing is called, if you look on Google Play, it's called um, MetaTrader 5. They even have a PC app for it. So I'd like to eventually get into uh, that. And if I can start small, um, make slow gains, that'd be great. ただの噂としか思っていなかったけど、ちょっと気になると思わない。確かに。しばらく もし本当だったとしても、俺たちにはどうしようもなくねえか。どう考えても議員どもの指示で警察本部に黙認されてそうだしよ。そうなんだよな。うん。でもな。気持ちはわかるわ。一応記念祭の間は気にかけておきましょ
than that, man, yeah, can't play, man. Going well. It was raining earlier. Apparently, I'm getting um, effects of Hurricane Fred, I think uh, DJ was mentioning. He mentioned something about Hurricane that hit Georgia today. What to do? What to do? I can't send in the mine chief to exterminate those monsters. It'd be execution. It'd be an execute. Good afternoon, Mayor Bixon. Special support section here. Oh, you came. I was hoping that you'd get here soon. I was just waiting for Lizzie to go to bed before I said something. I was lurking for a while. I appreciate the lurk, buddy. Okay to lurk on Trovo, too. <laughs> I know you're over there now. I can get six more followers. And get a couple more average days. I can hit that rank, too. And... Be nice. Got my emotes over there. Building a base over there is kind of difficult because it's still new. Monsters in the mine? Yes. We're in a bit of a pickle. I'd love to. If I can get over there and possibly get subscriptions going again, that'd be great, but that is what it is. I do miss that financial support. <laughs> Keep in mind there's an abandoned area that has already been fully vaccin vaccinated, evacuated. Last night, monsters began to rampage in there, causing them mining crew problems. <clears throat> monsters ran amok in the mine definitely doesn't sound safe. Does that sort of thing happen often? Many cases have reported in various countries that mine met septium. Though the cause has not been explained, yet monsters are naturally attracted to septium crystals. I've heard that before a load of times. The suckers can't get enough of it. I think I remember learning about that as well. No matter the country, mines always face the risk of attracting monsters. Yeah, I'll be finishing up here soon. Um, just find myself getting really tired. Pushing for another hour is like ready to doze. This game's great. I love it. Yeah. Great, I love it, but it doesn't grab my attention as much as like second and third does. Like, or, so like pushing for that fourth hour, I, I don't feel my see myself doing that. But three hours is plenty of time to indulge in this game. That's how it is now. That's how it is. Normally, our miners are tough enough to be able to drive away monsters without any issues, but most of the miners are in the city celebrating the uh, anniversary festival. We're short on manpower. The abandoned mine entrance may be locked, but there's no telling how dangerous things will be get if left unattended. And if you accept, I would like to, for your folks to exterminate all the monsters in there. So what do you think? That. Understood. We'll take care of these monsters for you, no problem. Really? I'm in your debt once again. Please take this with you. Abandoned mine key. Use that key to unlock the abandoned mine gates. I'll be waiting for the good news. Try to be careful. Alright, so. Need all the way north. Examine the locked door. Choose the first option. Fan, how you doing? Happy gaming! <laughs> I'm well. Thank you. Finish off your little quote there. <laughs> this is even. I'm well, thank you. Uh, getting tired, ready to call it quits myself. <laughs> so come up with a neat slogan like you have. You know, same bits as Lo. I like how Lo says, like, same bits time, same bits channel. Yeah. Uh, can't complain. I uh, had a good day. 
Got off work early. Tired from playing video games all day. <laughs> Staticky? You're the first person to mention that. Like my microphone? Or game? How's that? It really doesn't strike me as being a particularly old place. Just my voice. Uh, a real match, what's up? Really? My voice? How long has that been going? I see. All right, where are you at? There it goes. All right. I think I'm back. I'm good, uh, the real Matt. How you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. All right, so... Um, how's that sound? Sounds better. Okay, yeah. So my voice mod, which I have my microphone going to, so when I do stuff like... Uh, So when I do stuff like this, it changes my voice. Well, that closed out on me. There it goes. That closed out on me, which caused microphone issues. Lovely. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you letting me know. No one's mentioned that. I mean, look, the orbital lamps still seem to be okay condition. It's probably just to keep monsters from uh, appearing near the entrance. Ah. Hmm. Okay. Um, hi, Gally. Welcome to the stream, Matt. I appreciate you joining us. I will be ending here shortly. Uh, out of curiosity, have you played or are familiar with the uh, Legend of Heroes series? Legend of Heroes series. Ugh. Probably just keep monsters from appearing near the entrance. I get the feeling that this place is used for storing materials and the like. Maybe. No, this place doesn't sit well with me. It gives me bad vibes. The real mess asked how you're doing it. Really? Yeah, it's actually not a very known game. Um, you may have hold of, like, heard of the Cold Steel series, like uh, Legend of Heroes, Trials of Cold Steel. Um, the Legend of Heroes series is actually, it's still going on. So it starts with Trials in the Sky, and it goes Trials from Zero, Trials to Azor, all four Cold Steel games, they have uh, Tales of Reverie, which is brand new coming out, and then they'll have two additional games eventually coming out. Um, if you like RPGs, definitely a game I would recommend. Uh, you can play start at any point, but I definitely recommend if you play and you like playing in order, start with Trials in the Sky. Great games, I just finished them off not too long ago. Uh, this would be perfect place to test your metal, you know. Happy-go-lucky as always. We're here on work, not some random dare, remember? <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. I can detect the presence of multiple monsters deep in. The structure of mine will likely get more complex the further we go. We should proceed with caution. Absolutely. Let's try not to get the lost while we're at it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, however... I am going to go ahead and save that and call that there because I'm really exhausted. Um, what is today? Tuesday. I will be back tomorrow night um, with either Cards Against Humanity or more Jackback Party games. I got all the Jackbox games now. 
Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that, um, the real Matt. Um, if you are interested, please join me tomorrow night. Like I said, I'm doing co-op stuff, so we'll play either do the Jackbox party games or online Cards vs. Humanity. Uh, I start at 8 o'clock, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And feel free to join them whenever you like. You're very welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Have a wonderful night. I'll be here tomorrow night. Same Vitz channel, same Vitz time, as I like that slogan. <laughs> Have a good night, guys.